Hi guys, Pat the Plumber here, and in this video we're going to go through some preventative maintenance on this gas-fired, mid-efficient, force-aired furnace. So let's get started. The first thing is to do a quick, visual, and audible inspection while the furnace is running. Listen for any squeaks or whistling noises, which could indicate worn blower fan bearings or a clogged filter. Check the venting system on top of the furnace for any damage. The most important and easiest task to keep the furnace running properly and prolong the life of its components is replacing the filter. There is no correct answer on how often to replace the filter, but it should be determined by visual inspection at least once a month if it requires a replacement. Lifespan of the filter greatly differs from factors such as shedding pets, dusty climates, and the amount of time the blower fan is being run. The filter has three important markings when shopping for a replacement. The width, length, and depth, the direction of airflow, and the filtration level. The dimensions must match, but the filtration level is of your choosing. If you are unsure of the direction of airflow, slide a paper towel in the filter slot while the blower is running to determine. I personally like to draw an arrow on the sheet metal to leave the guesswork out for my clients. Once you purchase the replacement filter matching your original dimensions, it can be installed by matching the direction of airflow arrows. A pro tip is marking the date installed on a piece of duct tape and folding it over the front of the filter. Not only does this let you know when it was last replaced, it makes removal of the filter much easier. Before we get into the furnace itself, it's a good idea to check any makeup and combustion air intakes. They make sure the furnace has enough fresh air to complete its combustion efficiently and are located outside the home. Vacuum any leaves, dust, and debris. Before we remove the furnace panels, it's important to shut off the power switch. If you're unsure where the switch is and have an unfinished mechanical room, you can follow the wiring out of the furnace. You're now able to remove the panels. Some panels may be held in place with screws or clips. These just slide in and out of place. With the panels removed, vacuum any loose dust and dirt. Wipe down any large buildups of dust as well. This is a great time to inspect for any damaged wiring or corroded connections. This particular furnace's blower is direct drive. If your blower is belt drive, the belt should be inspected. It's best to slide the belt over the pulley and remove to inspect. Flip the belt inside out and check for cracks or splits. The thermocouple voltage test should only be performed if you're comfortable with lighting your pilot and using a multimeter. Turn the gas control knob to the pilot setting and remove the thermocouple from the gas control. Connect the positive lead to the bare copper and the common lead to the thermocouple end. Set up your multimeter for millivolts in direct current. Light the pilot as you normally would by holding down the pilot knob and lighting the pilot. Continue to hold down the pilot knob until maximum voltage is reached. A healthy thermocouple should read between 17 and 32 millivolts. With the thermocouple test completed, reconnect the thermocouple and relight the pilot. Turn the control knob back to the on setting. Reinstall the panels and turn the power back on to the furnace. The final and most overlooked task is checking and replacing the thermostat batteries if applicable. Performing any or all of these preventative maintenance procedures will help prolong the life of your furnace and in the end, save you money. There are still a few tests that I'd recommend leaving to a certified technician such as a heat exchanger integrity test, combustion efficiency test, and burner and blower fan cleaning. Well guys, thanks for watching my video. And like always, if this video helped you out, liking, commenting, subscribing is always greatly appreciated. Till next time.